But I think over time we, we pushed it further towards more abject and more <laughs> no idea what that means. I think hair. Sorry, uh, your hair might be near uh, the mic. I was trying the... so hard to be subtle, you guys. Okay. Uh, so so, <laughs> so I, I, I think over time... I might have just put it back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait, we're having a hair fix for all three of you. I mean, Mine doesn't matter, right? Yeah, I don't have like a mic. Okay, okay just... you need to keep this side off the mic. Okay. okay. The other side can be wherever. Oh, it was looking pretty till you flicked it. <laughs> so did we get any of that? Okay. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we, we, okay. we, we, we probably got it. it. Okay. Does anyone have a blazer? Don't put a blazer on. Yeah, I mean that's. I feel I can, like it's funny that really. Johnny, he doesn't have yeah, one. No, I think we all have Trust them. Me. It just looks okay. like we're trying. Oh, you, you look like the most serious out of the three of you. No, oh, I'm yeah. I'm the most. You're not, serious. You're not compensating. <laughs> <laughs> I think the like whole development process has been pretty like reactionary. Like we, I think initially the sort of thesis of the game was to make a game that was like anal sex positive and also drew attention to the fact that people assumed penetration was the goal of the game, which it mm. isn't. And then after that, we were like, there's a problem with penises feeling like weapons and dangerous, how can we address that? So mm. we sort of tried to make them more abject, make them more fluffy, put them in a more compromising situation. Mm. But then we realized that that was the only way we were representing them. We were like, well, we'd also like to represent them as lovable or mm. or just normal, mundane. And then there's also the whole the layer of gender stuff where we wanted to not gender them and let them wear whatever they want to wear. So, yeah, and like a lot of moves to make them like humanized, like anthropomorphic penises. Yeah. A lot of like the outfits, you know, these, these roles we put them in there are kind of so we can talk a little bit about sex of, of people as opposed to sex of, you know, penis monsters. <laughs> this update uh, we wanted to present penises in a way that was less negative towards them less like harmful towards them we felt like a lot of the sounds a lot of like the there's a bit of violence in the game and maybe we wanted to soften that uh, with some scenes that weren't weren't like that yeah a more a more loving approach to depicting penises um, I think there's a lot of jokes at the expense of penises in the game which was sort of the original thesis of the game to sort of make penises abject and stupid but also to try and balance that out, show them as endearing and lovable. I think over time as we were developing the game, the penises got portrayed more and more abjectly. I think we pushed in that direction with like scenes where they were in raw sewage with like like syringes presumably full of heroin like sticking into them. And I think maybe that was like a low point in, in some sense of like putting penises in abject positions. Um, and, and I think a lot of our fans picked up on this. They've, there were comments on the forums kind of going, hey, I love your game, but you know, could we just not have the scenes that are horrific? <laughs> and I think that, that struck a chord with us that maybe we were doing some of the expensive penises a bit more than we'd originally intended. I think we discovered it's really easy to make jokes at the expensive penises, especially just like raw physical humor, like penises in a cactus field is funny. But then we realized we kind of drifted too far into the humor zone and away from like what the game was supposed to be about. So we wanted to do a bit of a, an homage to the penis again and have mm. more scenes where penises are like being pampered. It's not just like negative gross penis stuff the whole time. Yeah. When you say like what the game was supposed to be about, I think that was sort of a alternative representation of masculinity and penises. So, I mean, we wanted to make the penises less threatening, but not just make them like the butt of all jokes, like a, like a bad thing. I think this also came after we read a review of the game that definitely felt that the portrayal of penises was a bit at the expense of like homosexual kind of uh, that, 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 that being homosexual might have been part of the joke, which was never the intention. And I'm not sure if you play the game, you necessarily get that. But I think certainly some of the players of the game might be performing the game in that way. And I think there's enough things in the game that do lead to that interpretation. Yeah, I mean, putting them in a in in rural sewage could be seen as a punishment for yeah for that, which is not good. Or yeah. Like, but that's why then then say putting them in a jacuzzi and they're all happy. Yeah. That's a very different kind of scenario. I, I don't know if that's like a 
gay stereotype, actually. I mean, that's not where we came from when we made it, though. <laughs> but the, the gay stereotypes or the... No, we just learned it like jacuzzis. <laughs> Wait, it, that, that might be one of the more autobiographical parts of the game. <laughs> the spa scene specifically came from wanting the idea of a spa day as being a more feminine thing, but it being equally enjoyable for mm. men and trying to like present spa days as something men can do and enjoy it as well. Mm. I mean, that had been the intention to maybe have some pampering, kind of, I don't know, massage, that, that kind of thing, but like that maybe was just more work than making making a jacuzzi in the end uh, to convey some of the same ideas. It still plays at like peaceful, tranquil music. Then along with that, like a bit of the summer sports stuff, like there was an intention to have kind of like a summery, fun and playful kind of setting. It's not maybe quite as course correcting as the spa day, but it certainly wasn't more cactus jokes or syringe jokes um, or penises getting crushed by things. It does have the get pumped thing, which yeah. might be like a joke at the expense of masculine culture, I guess. Mm. I think I'm comfortable with that. I mean, it is maybe a joke at bodybuilding kind of culture, which... It's kind of toxic, you know, a lot of time. It's not, 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 not completely, but I think the way it's framed where it's like competitively see who can get as jacked as possible is not like the healthy form of like male physical improvement. <laughs> yeah, yeah, although, yeah, I, I feel very much an outsider to kind of bodybuilding culture. Like, I'm not actually what? sure what's... <laughs> I don't believe that. I feel like we, we had some good intentions at the start of it, and we are like, let's make mm. an update where it's just nice things and, like, the penises get pampered, and we added, like, Spa Day and then a bunch more, like, competitive mini-games. Mm. Which, I mean... They are better jokes. The sexy car wash is a little bit on the, the, the vein of penises being able to be sexy. Yeah, and uh, feminine, I guess. I think, as always, whenever we just stumble across a super easy joke to make, like, let's give them veins and make them get really long. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it just sounds funny, so we just do it immediately. I feel like some of the outfits are actually pretty good in this update, like the towel and the dressing gown are kind of pampery as well. Mm. I think the old penises is kind of a, a positive thing as well. I think old penises having sex is like not a thing portrayed in very many games. <laughs> <laughs> Can't think of any off the top of my head. <laughs> Another world ages. first. Although I don't know if it makes the game less or more ages because well, it, when you don't explicitly make these penises old, then you can infer age, whatever age you want onto them. Evan and I actually had like a long discussion about this. I think we decided that if you give it its mm. own interlude and things, you're making the joke that it is old people or like you're drawing attention to that where it's like, haha, look at old people, they're yeah, having like, sex. You just unlocked a mode whereas, where you get to be old. Whereas this is just like a different setting. It's just like, oh, this is regular butt sex and also they're old. Just a different stage of life. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Society's uptight about Old, like oh. sexuality and age, basically. That's why it's funny. Yeah, I, I actually feel like in my mind, I'm sort of unclear about whether old people even have sex. <laughs> like it just, it's just so absent from like the media landscape. There's a representation of the world that's not just. There. It's just not there. Yeah. yeah, I don't know where we really fall into that. I don't think we necessarily change much, but I think it's still, a, it's still a move towards I think a better game. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy that it's there. I definitely think the game's even more confusing <laughs> now that we've added more stuff into it. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's the rabbit hole got way deeper. Yeah. But that, I think that was always the, it's something of like what we perceive to be the setting point. I don't know what the test has like proven, but like that the game, you can't dismiss it easily and you, you have to kind of go, I don't understand why this exists. I don't understand why they made this. And I just have no nothing to like compare this to. This doesn't. I, I, I'm yeah. intrigued, but I'm 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 unsettled. Yeah, I think we definitely had a moment the other day when we we're in the office and we were looking at uh, one of the gifts that Devolver posted of like the surfing mm. game, and we were like discussing whether or not it was good or something. And then we like stopped and realized like what it must look like to someone who's never seen this game before, um, and our perceptions of like what's normal. It's totally, totally shifted, <laughs> where if you've never seen that GIF, it's just like a bunch of 
penises like penetrating each other while surfing and like avoiding rocks. <laughs> <laughs> which is su a which, super weird idea. Wait, which on its own <laughs> would make a good joke game, but in this this experience, it's just this tiny piece. Yeah. I mean, I guess coming back to like the the, the like idea of the game becoming more convoluted, like hopefully there's more for people to like engage with and talk about there. But at the same time, I don't know if people like walk away with any sort of like enlightenment. Like when it was just when it was just traditional mode in like a blank set, it was like it's one problem to like figure out and solve and that's like why are these people like fucking and how are these points getting allotted and then you could resolve that and be like oh you're getting points for being both penetrated and penetrating that's interesting mm -hmm. usually people had assumed that it was just penetrating that gives you a point and you don't want to be penetrated but now especially now that we've added all the new traditional mode scenes it's just like oh, there's so much more there's to like so much read. to parse when you and the scenes keep changing constantly, so you don't know if your game goal is changing. Is this the kind of thing that we even like in other media? Like I know we've gone down this rabbit hole, <laughs> and like it's like that kind of developer thing of being it all being invisible to you, so you add more complexity. But yeah. like in other games, when it's you know com completely, no, no, it's not obtuse, but just so layered and strange like are those things that like really work I, I don't think we've added that much complexity and also i think the nature of the game uh, like the game still functions fine even if you like literally don't understand the controls or the goals <laughs> um like you can still play general jousting and like have no idea what you're doing um or like not notice that it's like completely not synchronized, which is the strength All of the, the game. All the points don't actually matter and they might not be awarded correctly. Yeah, <laughs> just as a random example. <laughs> I also think that the, the content that we've added does like dilute the focus a lot. I don't think it's necessarily a, a bad thing though, mm. um, but it is like less focused on that, you know, like that original core mechanic. Well, I mean, maybe we could compromise by just like ramping up the chaos slower you know like i think what i think it's really great that we have all these new sets and modes i think maybe if we just have a couple of blank scenes the first couple of rounds or even put it in like the unlock tree yeah yeah so there's that. like a soft entry you first play traditional mode in a blank scene then you unlock sets then you unlock party mode and it goes like that like your intro to it is like the thesis and then it layers it on from there yeah um that might be a way of just curating the the, uh, the way people receive it so that it's not like completely disorientating. And it also it leaves things for them to look forward to, which isn't a bad thing. Yeah. I hope it was compelling. <laughs> Guess we'll see. We can we can fix it in post, right? <laughs> Make us sound smart.